This is John with HookahJohn.com. All right, guys, this is John with HookahJohn, again, with another great product to enter these United States. All right, it's another Russian brand of hookahs. This time, it's Retrofit. Now, look, Russia is doing awesome as far as creating a lot of hookah products, whether it's accessories, hookah tobacco, or even hookah pipes. I've seen tons of them there at the shows, and... Um, there may be like hundreds of different hookah brands. So why did I choose this one? Why did I choose other ones that are great? Like like uh, Gorgona, like DSH. Um, what's the other Russian brand we have of hookahs? We have Matt Pear, right? Why? Because let, let's say, well, like Matt Pear is well-produced, uh, mass-produced everywhere, all over the place. Um, so I don't really focus on those because you can get them anywhere. So I bring in brands that you haven't seen before, and here is another one. It is called Retrofit. So why did I choose this one? It just looks like another Russian hookah, right? Wrong. Retrofit has this little system in it. So I want you to check this up close. So see how this uh, diffuser is open? Now check this out, dude, check this out. Oh, you get to close it up. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Pay attention to what's going on down there. All right. So right there, we're fully closed. Right there, we start opening, and oh, this one isn't right. Who, who, who produced? Who, who set up this pipe for me? Okay, let, let's move on to something else. This is a sleeve which you can remove, and I'll get into that a little bit later. So right now, make sure this is in all the way. You go in; it's got a little hook on it. Okay, so right now, fully open. You can see that right there, and then are you focused? Good. Mm -hmm. And you can close it a notch, and then you can close it another notch, and then you can close it all the way. So I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna give you, show you how it rumbles so with the diffuser in. Okay. Now we here are pretty much open all the way. Do you see that in there? You see that down there? So now I'm gonna close it all the way. You can do all the different levels you want. I'm gonna close this all the way. All right, we'll get back into it since uh, in a little bit here. So there is a difference in there. Now, a couple things I want to point out on this model. See, this is the, what do you call this model? There's an Amalgam, which is that one, and there is the Optima, which is this one, the black one. The Optima does not break down that I know of, but the Amalgam does. So you can take this off. I'm not going to do the whole thing, maybe, and then you remove your tray, and then you can have a shorter hookah. All right, you just remove that piece. So this one's all stainless steel. This is the Amalgam. And you can get these at Hookah John, so you can check them out. And then you've got the Optima. So now, what can you do? You can remove the sleeves to make it even more open. So you take the sleeve out, right? Pull that out. Then you can get even a bigger bubble rumble going, if you like. Okay, so you can remove that little piece there. And I'm gonna let you guys do that because I can't redo this. I don't have a base for this one to compare them side by side. But that's it. A lot of people like you, you make the whole review and you don't even smoke in it. So go ahead and hit pause and I'll start smoking. All right, and we're back. So we got this retrofit amalgam. I don't know what amalgam means. Optima means optima. All right, amalgam means amalgam. Look it up in Russian. So. It's a hookah and it performs, but what is more unique about this? All right, we'll go through the top and the bottom here. You've got your stainless steel, a lot of work in there, a lot of machining going on in there. You can break this model down. So this model is a little bit more expensive uh, than the other one by like 15 or $20. Now, let's pay attention to this thing. But just listen to the sound. Can you get down there and see how the diffuser is open? Now, listen to the sound as I adjust it. See that? So now you have no diffuser. You can see that. It makes it more restricted. And that might be something that you want. So let's open this back up. So now it's easier to pull in. So it's got less of a restriction on it. So now it's up to you. What do you like it? Restricted? 
not restricted. Before, you used to have to put on your diffuser, take it off, see the difference. Um, I am kind of curious as to taking this piece off down here, but cameraman, tell me about it. You did it. What does it do? It just makes it more wide open. More wide open. The only drawback is just the sound. It just makes it louder. It's got a louder, louder rumble to but it. But it's like really, really wide open. That's restriction. So, you got like three options. Restrict it all the way, open all the way, or even open even further by removing this piece down here. Remove the sleeve. and re You don't need to remove the sleeve to do that, do you? No, you can just leave it on there. Yeah, you can just remove this piece. It's just the I don't want to take here. off my whole hooker. And then, yeah, so you could do that. Mm -hmm. You've got this open here, but you can still adjust your your opening and closing. Yeah. So a lot of fun with this hookah. A lot of things you can do with it. Um, I just don't want to take down my hookah now for the lack of making a long video. But I'm assuming you told me you did it. Mm -hmm. and I'll have to have you set it up for me one day and just... Uh, Keep it all the way open. It's just a louder rumble. Just don't watch a movie while doing it. Don't watch a movie. So if you want to watch a movie while you're doing it, this would be it. Keep your holes in your diffuser exposed. If you want some restriction. And there's like five levels to it. Well, I think there's how many are in here? There are three sets. So I don't know why they have five different notches here. Five or four. It has four. Do we have four sets of holes here? What? We have three sets of holes. Okay, so you see that there, and you'll be adjusting it to where it's like... What I gotta do with this thing? It's not completely on, but you guys get the gist. It would be something like this. So, wide open. Close down a notch. Close down a notch. It does not go up and down, just I don't have this in correctly. There. That's correct. So you go three holes, six holes, nine holes. So, And one last thing to mention on this. Okay, let me clear this out. Purging. You always want to see purging. Here's a purge right here. You want to see it? It's got holes around the edges. Um, this one is similar. It's the same one. Clears it out pretty decently. Uh, this is the decanter one base at this moment. We don't have any. They do not fit in the decanter two bases. Um, this sleeve has holes all over it. And I think that's just for aesthetic purposes only. Where this sleeve doesn't. And that's it. I'm going to continue to mess around with this a little bit more. I like it. It's just like a nice full size hookah. You can break it down like I said halfway. Uh, if you like it in black and this black is not steel it's a plastic what were you telling me about here it comes off here which part what's yeah. this little space here for oh i'm not that's just to break it down i guess but it to doesn't, break it down, do, it doesn't do much right? all right yeah and it does come bro oh, oh. broken down in a box yeah. and that's it all right you something about oh, no that's all right i get it thank you what are we in february end of february can't even announce a date, but Hookah Expo, Expo Worldwide Quattro is coming out soon. Stay tuned for that. See ya.